Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part 10 of this chapter innings of the, this same tab chapter that is the direct and the indirect variations. So now let us see the first question here. It says that state whether the following statements are true or false. So here it said that the area of a field and the amount of the crop harvested are in indirect proportion. So this one way, can we see here, why did we get this false? Because here that the area of a field and the amount of the crop harvested. So as the area increases, what happened here? The work harvested that is decreases. So what we can say, area into work harvested is constant. So this is not an indirect one, but this is an inverse one. So we can say here, this is a false one. Here, the, as the length of plot to be purchased increases, the cost of the plot decreases. So this is again false. So what is the reason for that one? So here we can say, as the length of plot purchase increases, the cost of the plot also increases. So here it is saying it is purchase increases, the cloth of the plot decreases. So as this will increase, this also should increase. The cost also should increase. So this is directly proportional. So we can say this one is false. Here, the time taken for a fixed journey and the speed of the car are in direct variation. So here what we can say here, this is why this is false. We can say as the speed increases, what we can do? We can say that is the time all what happens? Speed increases means time is going to decrease. So we can say time into speed, that is the distance. So it is inversely proportional and not directly proportional. The cost of a dress and the number of dresses purchased in the fixed amount are directly proportional. Here it is saying it is directly proportional, but it's false. So I'll tell you the reason because here what happened as the total amount of money. So here, what did they say? The cost of a dress and this is, that is fixed. So if the total amount of money is fixed, the number of dresses also will increase and the cost also, the cost will what? As the number of this one, the, the dresses increases, the cost will decrease. So what we can say, cost per dress into the number of dresses and which is fixed amount. So we, this is an in, inverse relationship and not directly, they said proportional. So this is false. If x into y is equal to 7, then x and y are in, so this is going to be indirect proportion. So now I'll tell you when x and y, this will be x into y that is 7. So here what we can say this will be x is directly inversely proportional to y. So this is a indirect proportion. It is given that x varies directly as y and x is equal to 4, y is equal to 3. When y is equal to 15, then x will be what? So now since it varies directly means you are going to write here x is directly proportional to y. So that will be x when you remove this sign that will be is equal to this case constant is equal to ky. So you are going to put here when x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 3. So x is 4 and y is 3. This is k value. So this will be going here. So this will be the value of k will be 4 by 3. And here now when y is equal to 15, then x will be again when y is equal to 15, x is what? So again in this equation, we will put the we, we want the x value in place of we got the k value that is 4 by 3 and this y is given as 15. So when you simplify this, the x value is going to be 20. So you can write here x is going to be 20. Time taken to travel a given distance if speed is changing is a case of. So here this is indirect variation because time into speed that is the distance. The distance is equal to time into speed and that is a inverse that is the variation which is also called as the indirect one. Aman bought 12 apples for rupees 288. So that Raja bought x apples less than Aman for 192. So this is an example of 
So now see here, 12 apples is 288. So one apple is going to be what? When you cross multiply this one, so this is going to be 288 divided by 12, that is going to be 24. For rupees 24, you get one apple. So for rupees 192, that will be how many apples are you going to get? Eight apples. So now what will you do here? This 192 divided by that also is going to be 24. So what we can say since cost per apple is constant, because here can you see this both is 24, it is direct variation. So this is the answer for that one. If 18 men can finish cleaning around in 20 days, then 15 men will take how many days to do the same work? So now we can do here men 1 into days 1, that will be men 2 into days 2. So this we can consider this men 1, that is 18, and days are going to be 20. So here you will write 20. 15 men means here you are going to write 15, and we don't know the days, that is 2. So 18 into 20 as it is, and 15 will come here. So that will be days 2. So this will be 5 threes are. 5 4s are 3 1s are 3 6s are that is days to so that is going to be 24 days to do the same one. The volume of a gas varies inversely as the pressure on it. Now complete the table using this information. This is the table given. So we have to complete this one V1, V2, P1, P2, and P3. So now what we can see here volume into pressure that is this is the volume and this is the pressure. This is going to be constant. So here what will you do here? See here what we can see. These we don't know, but now we know this one. We know the volume as well as the pressure. So we'll start with this one. So volume is 50. So pressure is here too. So now what will you do here? We have volume into pressure that is constant. So you will write here in place of this volume 50. And in this pressure, you will write 2. That is going to be constant. This will be 15 into 2. That is 100. Now let us take this part. So V1 into V1 into 4. So V1 into 4. That is going to be constant means what did we get this one as 100. So this is 100. So V1 will be 100 and this will go in the denominator. So this will be 4 ones are 4, 25s are. So V1 is here, V1 is 25. So now let us see for this one V2 and 2.5. So V2 into 2.5, that is again the constant means that is 100. So here what are you going to do? V2 will be 100 and this is going to get divided. So that will be 2.5. So V2 is going to be this 100 and this 2.5 means 2.5 will be 25 by 10 so this will be this is going to be 25 by 10 so v2 will be 100 into this will be 10 by 25 so 25 ones are 25 fours are so v2 is 100 so now let us see for this part 16 to p1 so 16 to p1 that is 100 so p1 is going to be 100 and this will get going to get divided that is going to be 60 so this and this one two threes are two fives are so that is going to be five by three so now let us see for this one 75 into p2 so 75 into p2 is 100 so p2 is going to be 100 and this is going to get divided by 75 so 25 threes are 25 fours are that is going to be four by three so now again we'll see for this last column that is 100 and p3 so 100 into P3, that is 100. So P3 will be 100. And this will go in the, on the other side. That is going to get divided. Always multiplication. See here, plus gets minus. Minus becomes minus becomes plus. Multiplication becomes division. And division becomes multiplication. When you are changing the sides, RHS and so RH. This left hand side and the right hand side. So this P3 is going to be 1. So this values all you are going to write in this table. So you can write it later. Now the amount of extension in an elastic band varies directly as the weight hung from it. If a weight of 150 gram produces an extension of 2.3 centimeter, then how much weight will produce an extension of 13.8 centimeter? So now here what we can see extension is directly proportional to, because where is directly they said, to weight. So this is directly proportional to weight. So what we can write here? Extension divided by weight. So this will be when it is the extension is directly proportional to weight. So we can write here extension is equal to we can put here something the constant k and this is weight. So extension divided this will come on this side that will get divided is equal to k that is the constant. So we can write extension 1 divided by weight 1 that will be extension 2 divided by weight 2. So extension 1 means we can consider this look at the sentence here 
So this is the extension of 2.3 and the weight is given as 150. So that is, this is the extension and this is the weight, extension one. So how much weight will produce an extension? The weight two is not given. This is not given. So the extension two is given as 13.8 centimeter. So now this, once you get this one, the other things are easier. What you have to do, you have to cross multiply here. So 2.3 into weight 2, that will be 13.8 into 150. So weight 2 is going to be 13.8 into 150. And this is going to get divided. Now see here, can you see, I have just write, written this without a decimal. I'll tell you one thing. Now here, both the places you can see after one number is a decimal. Here also after one number is a decimal. So what we can do, we can directly cancel out this or I'll tell you the other way. This is going to be 13.8 is going to be 138. And because the after one number is a decimal, you are going to divide it by 10. And this 2.3 is going to be the year after one number. That will be 23 divided by 10. So when you write this one, 138 divided by 10, and this is going to be 23 divided by 10 for this one. So what will happen? This part is going to get flip over. So that is going to be I'll write here. 138 divided by 10 into 10 by 23. So this and this gets cancelled. So you are going to get 138 divided by 23. So I hope this part is clear to you after all these things like and this 150 will be as it is. So when you do this one, you can solve this one and see you get 900 grams. So we can say the weight required is 900 grams. So you can simplify it anyways, whatever, multiply this together and then divide it or what will you feel easy. If a box of apples is distributed among 28 children, each gets three. If seven children were not present, their share will also be distributed among the others. How many apples will each child receive in that case? So total apples means 28 children are there and each child is getting three. So total apples is going to be 28 multiplied by three. That is going to be 84 apples now. So remaining children, there were 28 children and seven children were not present. So what will we do? What were the remaining children? 28 minus seven is 21. This stuff is important because what are we going to do? We are going to, even if they are not present, so whatever the apples were, we are going to distribute among the present children. So now apples received per child is going to be what? 84 divided by this remaining children. Not 28, but the remaining children because the seven were absent. So that is going to be, so you have to be very careful with this one. So 84 divided by 21, that is going to be 21. Four size is 84. That will be four apples. So each child will receive four apples. If a person works 10 hours per day, he can complete a piece of work in 28 days. How many hours per day must he work in order to complete his work in 20 days? As, so here what we can see here, hours per day into days, that is the constant work. So here hours per day one, that is 10. Then days is how much it takes here for this is 28 days. So we can write it days one is 28. So we don't know how many hours, so we don't know hours per day two. We don't know, but hours day in 20 days. So days two, that will be 20. So here we can write it hours per day one into days one is equal to hours per day two into days two. So now we can just plug in the values that will be 10 into 28. And we don't know this hours per day two into this 20. So now this will be as it is. This will go in the denominator. That will be hours per day two. So 10 ones are 10 twos are two ones are two fourteens. So he must work 14 hours per day to complete the work in 20 days. If three gardeners take 90 minutes to weed a garden, how many more gardeners will be needed to do the job in 15 minutes? So now here, what is the number of gardeners into the time taken? That is the constant work. So now we can say, we don't know the number of gardeners. We can say, let X be the total number of gardeners required. So now what will you do again here? Number of gardeners, one into time taken one, we can do that one. That will be three into 90. So this one with three gardeners and 90 minutes. So we can write that three into 90 is will be, we don't know the total number. So here, what will you write here? X into how many other? That will be 15 minutes. Here it was 90 minutes. So this is going to be time two. And this will be time one. And these are the, this will be the gardeners. G1 into T1 is will be G2 into T2. So this will be this 3 into 90 will be here. This will go in the denominator that will be 15 that is x. So 15 ones are 15 6 are that will be 18 is equal to x. So now this x we have considered what is that? That is the total number of gardeners required. But they said how many more gardeners will be needed to do, do the job in 15 minutes. So this is the total number. But then 
already we have three we already have here so how many more needed so from what will you do we will write here from this total we are going to subtract three so be careful with this step so x minus three and not just 18 so because they need how many more needed already three were there so this will be 18 minus 3 that is going to be 15 so we can say 15 more gardeners are needed to complete the job in 15 minutes so by this one we are completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts thank you